Welcome back to Sumster Games, the place to find new strategy games. Humans are so hard to understand. I mean, even we don't know why we do the things we do. We just do them because everybody else has always done them. So now imagine that you're not even human. You are a monster. And you're trying to understand why these all humans do what they do. And that is what this game is about. It's called... It's called Monsters Expedition Through Puzzling Exhibition. So let's continue. I've already kind of begun just a little bit. So we're going to move through this. And now we are at the main level. So we're going to go here towards this. And I'm going to read it to you in a monster voice. Museum for human scale model. Humans prefer their museum to be indoors. This initially seemed baffling to monsters, especially given the amount of dusting we avoid by keeping objects outside. Experts have recently suggested that keeping objects indoors may have been a part of the England lands, <laughs> England lands efforts to hide and store museum's collections of stolen property. <laughs> yep, totally, that's exactly why. Now we could push this in. Yeah, but it's not going to be very helpful to us. Oh, it's interesting. You can actually go back like this. So we're going to place that over there. I'm going to try to push it. Ooh, interesting. Okay. So we have to push this three, but how do we keep pushing it? I need to, like... Pull it. Oh, maybe I could do it like this. Then I can roll it that way. Oh yeah, and I can keep moving it this way. Okay. I hey, don't. We gotta get over there, so we gotta do something similar, presumably. Roll the thing this way, then go like so. Oh no! But we gotta turn it around. Okay, well then let's go that way. Pull it this way. How do I get this to turn? That's my question. See, the stone is in my way to do what I need to do. Oh yeah, okay. Plant. Humans like to put objects on boxes called plants. At first, monster experts didn't know why, but then strangers kept thinking. The plantless exhibits were lost property and handing them, and handing them in at the help desk. It turns out plants are very important. What? <laughs> That's interesting. Alright, we gotta get ourselves a tree. Uh, we're gonna have to pick it up. And we gotta go one more step, okay? Oh yeah, we gotta we gotta make it stand again, go this way. Ooh, we've got double trees this time. So how are we gonna do it? I make the three fold this way. And then that way. I should be able to roll it next to the other three. And then push it upwards. Yeah, and I can push this one that way. Okay, so let's start by going to the left. Ooh. Certificate of excellence. Okay, this isn't a human object, but we want a monster travel lover for the museum. Look, there's a trophy too, except we sort of knocked it over and now there's a bit missing. So it's in the mending cupboard at head office, but the certificate is great. <laughs> I'm sure it is. Okay, we're gonna grab... Yeah, we're gonna go this way with the three. We're gonna go around. I'm gonna push it down and we go this way. Ooh. This is going to be interesting. Well, we can't go around that way, that's a problem. 
Well, actually, we can move on top of it. That's good. Do I see something over there? Something hopefully exciting. Ooh, I might have messed this one up. Let's put it back. No, no, no. I think it needs to go that way. And then we need to roll it back so that we can push it up. And then roll it this way and then just go straight forward. Okay, I I'm getting used to the game. Q here sign. Humans from England land love to queue. <laughs> We don't know exactly why, but expert monsters speculate that standing outside for long periods of time is why these humans developed such a close interest in what the weather was doing. <laughs> yeah, people just love to queue for no reason at all. I mean, the pleasure is from the waiting in the queue, right? What? It just ate me? What was that about? Is it like a teleport? Maybe it's like a teleport. Okay, let's let's move out. Now we, we might want to go back, since we saw the whole map, we actually might want to go back to that one sort of split and go in the other direction. Because that seemed like, uh, might be like, I thought this would be like a dead end, but it seems like actually this on the top might be the dead end. So let's go this way first. Human backpack. Human backpack looks a lot like monster backpacks, but if you open one up, you can see that they're exactly as big on the inside as they seem from the outside, implying humans never quite mastered basic dimensional design theory. Ooh, every backpack is a TARDIS. Oh my god, that is amazing. <laughs> you don't know what a TARDIS is. I don't know what you've been doing. Okay, like, yeah, you gotta know what a TARDIS is. I'm not gonna do Google it. And if you haven't watched Doctor Who, you most definitely should. Are we gonna go like that? Then I think we might need to roll it that way. Because we gotta turn it around. Make it stand like this. Okay, yeah, I don't, I don't care about the backpack. And then I could roll it down and then move around. Just gotta get used to you cannot cross you can only cross the lock like this, so that's that's pretty important. Oh, we could have actually connected here this way. So it wouldn't matter, we would have gotten to the same spot just like a bit differently. It seemed like the second path was a bit easier. Ooh. This is interesting. Got a lot, a lot. This option is pretty straightforward. Both of these. Oh, this one isn't? Okay, let's, let's go back. How are we? No, I won't be able to take it back here. So let's go back. I think we gotta knock it down this way. Or maybe this way. Yeah, okay, and now we can go... But it's not gonna help us if I push it this way. It's not gonna help. What about this other tree? We have two threes. Maybe we have to get them both of them there? Yes, I do have the rock in the way. No, I, th I think we, get, we gotta go back. I think we gotta start with this other tree. Let's just go all the way back. And if we move it up and then to the side. And then we can move... No, I didn't mean to do that. But I can't walk around this thing now. Well, maybe we could do it like this. I'm not sure. Let, let, let's go down first. That was, that was pretty straightforward. <laughs> Let's go this way. We've got holiday lies. Holidaying humans like to send pictures they didn't take to people they didn't like, claiming that they wish those other humans were present. 
Note below. Oh, well, that it's note below another postcard. Please do not put this exhibit in the monster post. Replica holiday lights are available in the gift shop. <laughs> it's actually kind of funny. Alright, I think we gotta go like this so we can come around it and push it forward. And then presumably keep moving. This way? I think I'm gonna need to get the other one like that as well. Yeah, should be okay. Interesting, so if you have double you can move sideways. Okay, so that makes that island a little bit different than we thought it would be originally. How about here? I'm gonna need something to move that way. Yeah, I think we just gotta push two of them there and then we can cross it. Stanchion and ropes. This is another human museum magic trick. If you put little metal poles around the exhibit, visitors will still get too close and prodded. But if you connect the poles using velvet papers, an invisible wall pops up <laughs> and the exhibits are safe. <laughs> Yeah, that is true. If there's a velvet rope, then you can cross it. <laughs> I gotta say, this game is just hilarious. Also a bit ridiculous, but uh, hilarious. Oh, this is gonna be the wrong direction, though. Alright, so we gotta do this differently. I, I didn't think about that. But I can only make this fall. Oh, okay, so I have to make this fall that way and then grab the other lock and make it drop this way as well. That's a little confusing. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Okay. That worked out. Like. The most recent human museum trick that monsters expert have discovered is plagues. Any information on a plague fell truth ear to humans, even if it was just a guess. Researchers are still trying to determine if the same is true for monsters. <laughs> Well, I actually think this might be a good time to end the episode. And if you like solving puzzles, you might want to check it out. Uh, you can click on the right to watch some other puzzle games. I'll see you there. Bye bye.